Hello friends, welcome back. So in this lecture, we learn how to post the attendance for our employees, that is for our staff and workers. So for that, first of all, what you need to do is go to vouchers and here select other vouchers from other vouchers, select here payroll vouchers and the attendance. When you select the attendance, you can autofill this by pressing control F. So when you press control F, the attendance will get autofill. And here in the voucher date, select the date that is 1st May 2020. In the employees group, we are providing the details, the attendance for all the employees. So I am taking all items over here. And first we need to give here the present days that how many days our employees was present. So I am defining here the present and now here in the default values, you can fill the key, the days, the autofill default key that will show in all the employees. Like if I'm giving here 25, then it will give me 25 in each and every employee. But as per our data, Daniel was present for 26 day days. So I'm overwriting it. Joseph was present for 25 days. Preeti was present for 24 days and Sukriti was present for 25 days. You can as well skip that option. I'll uh, tell you in the way when we were doing for overtime. First of all, you need to do the first way. So this is done. You had done with the present data of employees. Now for overtime, again, press control F for autofill. Select the type of transaction that is attendance autofill, your voucher date, employee groups. Now we are giving the overtime to workers. So I'm selecting here workers. This belongs to overtime attendance type. And here in the default value to fill, I'm taking it zero and accepting it. Now here you can see I can write in both the employees that how much overtime they had provided in our company. So for Joseph, we were having our 20 hours and for Sukriti, we have 600 minutes. So I'm changing the unit to 600 minutes and accepting the screen. So this is how you can mark the attendance of your employees in the company and you can mark the overtimes for workers as well. In the next lecture, we'll move forward and further and check the entries as well.